します。お願いします。少々お待ちください。ありがとうございます。I'm Frank. I was born and raised in Tokyo, Japan, and I love ramen. To me, ramen is the ultimate soul food. And actually, my main job is doing ramen tours in Tokyo. Today, I'm going to be introducing several ramen shops, some of my favorites. I'm going to be eating a lot of ramen. Hopefully, you enjoy it. Oh, look at this. This is fantastic looking. Here, they have not only the pork chashu toppings, here is the pork chashu, which you only usually find in ramen. But what makes this very unique is that they also have lamb meat. You can see, little diced、uh, cube, and also over here. Lamb meat has such a strong you know, fragrance that it immediately hits your nose as you,、uh, as you smell it. In the broth, it's a blend of both pork bones and lamb, actually. That really creates a unique smell. And they use cumin seeds here, too, so it kind of has a, a fusion twist to what is normally traditional、uh, tskemen. It's such a unique flavor with the lamb. Lamb is very rare to find in ramen. Definitely don't find it in skemen. And the fact that it's blended into the broth very carefully with that pork bone, it's such a, it's such a rich and creamy. It also comes with a lemon. I'm going to sprinkle it a little bit on the top here with the meat, and also with the noodles. Some of that acidity will be a nice、uh, contrast to the thicker and creamier broth. That acidity will cut through it a little bit. Now I'm going to toss these in.、Oh. So tender. It just melts in your mouth. They're packed with flavor. It was a big mountain to climb, but、uh, all finished. And now we're going to the next place. I'm here at Kikambo, one of my favorite ramen shops in Tokyo, and I'm at their Ikebukuro branch. This ramen shop makes perfect umakara ramen. Umakara in Japanese means savory and spicy, and it is a delicious, delicious, amazing ramen. <laughs> And the coriander. It provides a nice、uh, crunch alongside some of the softer things in the ramen, like the、uh, noodles, for instance. It's really well balanced, and because of that you know, strong coriander flavor, it cuts through that、uh, creaminess in the broth here. So, this ramen bowl is famous for being a blend of both、uh, chili oil and also shibire or、uh, sancho pepper numbing spice. So, you've got the chili pepper and the chili oil coming together, and what's Unique is really that numbing, numbing spice that gives you a little bit of a tingling sensation inside of your mouth. And when you come here, you can choose what level you want for the chili oil and also the numbing pepper, going all the way up to oni or devil level if you dare to try. This is just genuine happiness for me because it's so, so tasty. You know, most ramen shops you go to, they have、um, a little bit of a paper thin chashu, it depends on the shop. But here at Kikambo, they have a massive slab of pork chashu. And this is not even the biggest one you can get. It's kind of like kakuni pork. Very, very thick, very fatty, but oh so delicious. Excellent. We'll now be going to our next ramen shop. We're now here at Ramen Emoto Masahiro, and they specialize in the niboshi ramen. Niboshi is dried, boiled fish, usually sardines. And at this ramen shop, they use three types of sardines one type of horse mackerel, blended alongside chicken, and also kelp, or kombu in Japanese, from Hokkaido. It's a very, very complex broth and a really good example of niboshi ramen, fish ramen. I want to cut my fish, my Usually, niboshi is a, a bitter flavor. You do get that kind of sharp bitterness from the, the niboshi sardine fish. But in addition to that, you've got the nice tanginess of the soy sauce and the richness from the chicken coming out, just a little bit sticking to your lips. So, what's amazing about this place is they're very thick and wavy noodles, as you can see here. These are very unique noodles. They've got a great mouthfeel when you chew them, very firm, and yeah. It's such a good match for the,、uh, picking up the soup. That was an amazing.
amazing bowl, as it always is when I come here, but got more eating to do. Here we are. I am now at a ramen shop called Shuichi, and they specialize in a curry ramen. What I've just ordered right now is a curry ramen that is also blended with black sesame in a tan tan men style. It looks amazing, it smells amazing. I've had it before and I know it's amazing. You've got the creaminess of the curry alongside the black sesame, which gives it more of a nutty, almost earthy flavor. And also, it's got a peppery kick to it, so there's a lot happening, and it all works so well together. You know, Tan Tan Men, inspired by Dan Dan noodles, or the Chinese version, they've got minced pork in here, very nicely seasoned minced pork. And if you mix a little bit in the broth, or try and pick up some of it with the noodles, it adds to the flavor, because they're very well seasoned. So curry ramen is actually not that common. There is an area of Hokkaido where they make curry ramen called Muroran, but this is not quite like that, nor is it like a thick and brown Japanese curry. The flavors are different. It's more like a creamier curry that kind of reminds of a Singaporean laksa, um, or even perhaps something closer to a Southeast Asian or Indian curry, but it's still Japanese. It doesn't quite go too far in a curry direction. And regardless, they're bringing together curry and ramen in a very balanced, excellent way. And it's delicious. That's the most important thing. Mm. Just finished eating all the ramen. Really full right now. But it was well worth it. And yeah, come to Tokyo. We'll eat some delicious ramen together. Hope to see you in Tokyo. Bye. Thanks for joining today.